Love and honor means family. It means having a school that you can rely on. It means having something to be proud of, something to be a part of. It's just who we are. The one thing I'd like to thank donors for, if I could, would just be the experience of, of being able to be here at Miami. Extremely grateful, thankful. The experience is like nothing else I've ever imagined. I think that there's no way that you can experience the things that we do here and not want to pay it forward. There are no words that can adequately explain the impact of donors to the present and future of Miami University. We are what we are in no small way because of the past generation and we will be what we will be because of the generosity of those today and into the future. The infrastructure that we have here, the support systems, the facilities that we have, the resources that we can provide to students for their education, those all enhance the educational opportunities that students have. For example, walk through the farmer school and get a feel for what those resources are allowing us to do. What may not be as obvious as you walk across the campus is the support that our donors have given to create opportunities for our students. Going into my junior year, I knew that I had to study abroad and my family lost our house to foreclosure. Spanish is my heart. I breathe it, I speak it, I dream in it. Without all of the scholarship opportunities, I never would have been able to set foot off of American soil. Choir has always been a part of my life, so I knew when I came to Miami that I wanted to be part of a singing group here. The large ensemble traveled to New York last year and sang in Carnegie Hall. That's the pinnacle of a lot of people's entire musical career, and I'm being able to do it because Miami is here. Miami Access Initiative was used to um, help individuals or, or students like myself who has had, you know, uh, financial issues. They provide, you know, scholarship, mentorship. I wouldn't be able to be here, you know, without them. We have had some tremendous investments in our intercollegiate athletic program, and they would not have been possible without the gifts of private donors. The Gog and Ice Arena is one of our best examples where it serves the men's ice hockey team and the women's synchronized skating team, provides tons of opportunities for our students for intramural sports, provides opportunities for the community and beyond. One of the values of having a donor to create opportunities for our students is in allowing and building the relationships that we have with external partners. A few years ago, our senior capstone class, their client for this class was His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Google. Introductions to HP, the introductions to eBay, the introductions at Twitter, all happen through donors and our relationships with our alumni. I've had the chance to be in a couple different organizations here, and that's where it's really become most apparent to me how much funding helps us. One of the most fun things about my job is seeing how a student changes from when they come in at age 17 or 18 to, to when they graduate. They're engaging in all kinds of experiences outside the classroom, working directly with, with their teachers, really unique opportunities that change fundamentally who they are and how they view the world. The Urban Teaching Cohort, or we call it the UTC, is a place-based approach to teacher education where they're living and student teaching in the projects in Cincinnati and to watch the transformation in them. They'll have this shift and you can see their heart is being changed. And because of that, I know they're gonna really make an impact. Every couple years, we'll, we'll take our students to Ghana where students build all kinds of community buildings. I never imagined that I would learn so much just from going on this trip with 15 other Miami architecture students. Even though we were there building this house and doing this cool thing for them, we learn more from the people in Abrafo than we could have ever taught them. The heart of every great university are the people the faculty, and the staff. I've never really come across people that have cared so much about my career, cared so much about my interests and in what I want to do, and cared so much about my well-being. At Miami, we have 
what we call the teacher-scholar model. The scholarship and the research feed the teaching, and we understand the connection between those two. To recruit those kind of people and to retain them in this environment, in our university, takes resources. And so if we have endowed professorships, if we have opportunities that we can provide to talented faculty, that translates into a better opportunity for students as well. Those things are all connected. I literally couldn't do it without a donor. It's the difference between something being an idea and that idea happening. That's what the donor provides. Love and honor is a phrase that says it all. It captures our commitment to each other, and to the university. I hope everyone who knows and cares about Miami University will join with all of us in celebrating the present and building the future. So again, thank you so much for your generosity. You have helped me make my dreams um, come true. And words can't really express, really. I mean, if I could, if I could say, uh, I'm not really sure what what better to say. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Through your gift and through your vision, you're able to help change lives. Thank you. <laughs>